Hey everybody. Um, well, I started this earlier and my phone um, died in the middle of the video. So I'll show y'all the. I, I'm making some of these small blooms because I need them to sell at the farmer's market on Saturday and I don't have as many as I thought I did. So um, that's what I'm doing. And, um, I made two already, like I said, but the, um, the, uh, the phone died in the middle of the video, so. Alright, here's the dance we do. We flip it around over and over because the stupid table is so slanted. Um, a few of these I have to make kind of a certain color for a friend of mine that wants some, and, um, I'm trying to remember the colors. Um, that were in those. And, um, I'm not sure I want to go by those colors though. Um, I think her needs were sort of um, not real uh, set in stone. So, it seems like she wanted black, blue, red, um, green mixed together. I don't know what all. Can't really remember. So, I think I'll just do what I'm going to do. And um, this is just a favor so she can pick. Something that I have, or else tell me what she wants. I hate having to do all this flipping around, but I um, don't really have any uh, choice at this point because the, the table is really slanted. And I have some sapphire. I don't even know what all these colors are that I'm, I'm just throwing colors in here. Um, not sapphire. Right there. This is kind of a blue green one. Alright, let's add a little gold and then that would be good for this one. Oh, whoops. I think I may have overdone it with that. I, I, I kind of lost control of it. <laughs> Let's see. It's a little bit more cell activator than I meant to have, but I think it'll be okay. And I just got my chin all the way down in it, so. Um, that's what I like about painting. One of the things I like about it, get messy, and it's okay. start with Prussian blue on this one. And then this is some deco art berry. And then 
from Teal. I just love those colors, that, that new stuff. But let's have some uh, boysenberry in there too. I just love it, the, the teal and the cobalt. Cobalt teal and the other one is um, uh, turquoise. Now I really like those colors. Alrighty. This will activate your time. I'll try not to go overboard this time. Although, it doesn't look too bad that one. I, well, and the first one I thought I had really, really screwed it up, but it looks okay. It looks pretty. this system I'll just trade them off and then by the time one is settled down the other one is ready to go and vice versa all Kind of like having two, uh, two pots on the stove at boil. <laughs> Have to watch them both. That's really pretty. That that one over there, um, the way it's laying out, looks like it's gonna be pretty. This one is pretty too. Just can't seem to get it to get over that corner here. Okay. Yeah, uh, this is beautiful. That brow tone is really good. I encourage anybody to try it if um, if you haven't tried it or if you're unsatisfied with polycrylic. Polycrylic is okay. I mean, I I. I still use it when I run out of bright tone and um and I used it for you know a long time um before I knew about bright tone um and it, and it's fine you know um I just think that the polycrylic adds something I mean the um bright tone adds something um I don't know a vibrancy um that I didn't see before um, I don't know. I haven't used polycrylic in a while, so I can't remember. Um, but I can look back at my other pieces, and they just don't look as good um, as the bright tone ones. I guess that's the best way to think of it. Sorry, I know y'all can't see what I'm doing right now over here, but... Um, I'm just trying to cover this corner and then I'll flip it back. I love those little cells down there in the corner. Those boysenberry cells. That boysenberry is a beautiful color. I love it. And like I said, I've been making my version of it with just paint. Because I add paint to all my pigments anyway and so you have to kind of figure out a paint uh you know um corollary um to the pigment color 
if you're going to add paint to your pigment, you know, you got to figure out what paint you can add that's going to, you know, make it look good. Um, this is an unusual one here. It's kind of doing its own little thing. Oh, but I like it. It's pretty. Uh, let's go with this one now. Look at the lacing in that. That is beautiful. Look at that. That's one thing um, that I think the Bright Tone does do is it enhances the lacing. Um, I never had lacing like this with polycrylic, I don't believe. Lacing and cells, um, both. Look at that. I mean, that is just awesome. I think. I'm trying to get where y'all can see, but I don't know where you can see because um, that other one's kind of in the way and I don't know where y'all are. Uh, this one is really pretty. I like that. It's different and interesting. Again, I'm sorry, I know y'all can't see, but I don't know where to put it. I need to um, arrange this a little bit differently next time. I'm sorry, I'm tired and uh, I need to fix it a little bit better for y'all. I, I don't know if you can see or not. I'm trying to make it where you can. Um, I like this one a lot. I think it's pretty. y'all can't see both of those because I know it's too far back. Let me get a paper towel here and I'll uh, I forgot to wear my gloves. Um, let me get y'all down and you can see up close and then that will solve our problem. Okay, I want to show you these two that I did off camera because the phone died um but this one and this one those are the ones i think that are the colors that i'm supposed to be doing for a friend of mine all right and here's this one let's have a look beautiful Is it raining out there? It's been a beautiful day today, but it sounds like it's raining. And there's that one. This one I really like. It's sort of spacey, you know, but, uh, really pretty. I hope <laughs> Well, thank you guys for being here. I appreciate it, as always. And join me next time. I'm going to be up late doing God knows what. i got lots of work to do. So, I'm going to do some more of these. And then we'll see. Thanks for uh, being here. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.